Hey guys, welcome back to Gaming VR. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at The Walking Dead Onslaught uh, from one of my personal favorite developers, uh, Servios. Uh, it is $29.99 for the base game and $39.99 for the deluxe, which gets you digital art soundtrack, uh, crafting starter kit, and some iconic weapons. Uh, it's on Steam for all four headsets. Now, I love Servius. They're one of the first, if not the first, company to acknowledge the channel. I still have a handwritten letter on my wall uh, for my raw data videos, and it was just a feel-good milestone for me to have a studio reach out to me and thank me and give me some swag. So, yeah, I'll probably always have a soft spot in my heart for Servius. You guys, however, on the other hand, do not. You're brutal. Um, we're looking at 221 negative reviews on day one for a mostly negative score and wow i was not expecting that when when i went to to write up this intro uh i'm avoiding looking at the reviews myself so i don't bias myself or see anything there that i pay special attention to but damn i was not expecting that sort of score so it's gonna be one of those nights i guess um i don't know what complaints there are but i guess we'll find out um now uh i'm not a big walking dead fan i never got into uh the show so i don't have the ip fanboying to to fall back on i'm not going to recognize any of the characters so i won't be, ge be getting giddy just because you know so and so shows up so there's not even that buffer here so it's just going to be the raw game that i'm taking a look at really um that being said, I think we are playing a, a canon campaign story as Daryl Dixon through a supply run gone wrong. Uh, it's officially licensed by AMC, so I'm assuming this is now officially canon. Uh, hopefully that means lots of story, lots of looting, uh, two things that I love a lot in games, and hopefully plenty of slaughter to go along with it. Though based on the current review score, I can't say I'm very hopeful for any of that. Well, let's get in the game and see for ourselves. All right, so we are in game and we're initially greeted with this wonderful soundtrack, uh, turning around notice, uh, and a calibration uh, click. The first thing that I uh, noticed is that the mirror window is kind of bad. It won't full screen on a 4K monitor. Uh, it only goes out to about 1440p and just sort of stops. And it's one of those ones that it's borderless, so you can't force it to get bigger. Uh, so right now I'm just using the Steam VR overlay, as you can see my uh, uh, my room bounds here. So that's why that's there. Uh, so not the greatest mirror window right off the bat, um, which they've done better. So I don't know I don't know why that's like that, but it's it's minor. It's really only important for content creators and people who are showing stuff off. So I'm gonna look straight forward and hold any button on my dominant hand to calibrate. All right, so we are calibrated. Right hand, dominant hand. Also, broken hand, ten tendonitis. So, hopefully, uh, part of the reason why I haven't been uh, recording as much and just doing the streams is because after the streams, I have to ice it down because it hurts. But I think I'm going to have to go back and see somebody. This, Yeah, this and this tiny little thing is what the doctor told me to use. called a wrist widget. You don't care about that, but we're not doing anything else other than looking at the logos. It's taking a long time to actually get into the game. The key to survival is allowing oneself to be shaped by the assigned environment. I didn't get to see who actually said that. If you want to survive the walker onslaught, you'll need a bit of training. First, let's take a look at your controls. How do you want to turn? Try each option and see what's comfortable for you. Um, let's just disable that now. Um, now try turning. We can snap. That's fine. Lock in your choice when you're ready. Give turning a try. Give turning a try. Now try turning. Lock in your choice. I don't see the difference between those two. With rotating movement. Without rotating movement. What is what is rotating movement? Give turning a try. I guess the world is moving versus choice when you're ready okay so yeah the world just snaps into place or the world like moves with you it's very subtle the difference there um smooth is not that great we'll just go ahead we'll we'll leave it at swift to just so that i can orient me facing the camera otherwise i would just if i were playing this and not recording i would just disable this 
I don't need it because I can turn. Try each style. They're all pretty different. Um, teleport. So we do. Ha Somebody told me they didn't have teleport. So that was wrong. Um, it is the trackpad over here. Okay. So loop, loop. So the longer you hold it down, the further out you go. Doesn't seem like uh, holding it down goes any farther. Okay, that's weird. It snaps to a point over there. I can get there, but not if I hold my hand up here. That's weird. That's a weird mechanic. Uh, fluid. This is, I don't like, do I need to, okay, forward. I mean, this actually isn't a bad implementation. I mean, this feels kind of like a sprint vector with the lines. I'm having sprint vector flashbacks with the uh, the speed lines are along the outside of my vision. Uh, it's not as bad as um, it's not as bad as other implementations I've seen, and they do have a forwards and a backwards, which I like. That's my biggest complaint about walkie locomotion uh, is that it ties up my hands, so I can't shoot and run. With this, I can shoot and run. I can control myself. I can't use both of my hands, like so I couldn't, you know, have an assault rifle and move. Because, like, all right, I can kind of do that, but I'm not really shooting very well. Um, but the other one is that you can't go backwards. Now, there is the still, they haven't solved the problem of me being able to strafe and go. Um, well, I mean, kind of, a little bit. Uh, I still don't like it. Uh, this is not, would not be my primary thing, but this is probably the best implementation of fluid that I've seen so far. Smooth is my preference. Uh, it's a little slow. There we go. So holding down to sprint. I'm good with that. This is what we're going with. Sorry for the uh, extended look at locomotion options. Tap plus B to open the pause menu for more options. Oh, uh, minimal HUD off. On. Okay, so you can turn your HUD off. I don't know if you guys saw anything there. Uh, I did not saw anything, at least not yet. Vibration on, phantom feedback, uh, visual feedback when your avatar hand and real life hands are becoming desynchronized. I like this. This is good. This, this will generally solve some of my issues where like I'm trying to open a door, uh, but my hand is like way through the door or something. Uh, I, I like having the phantom feedback. It's it's a good thing. Um, controls, turning types. So we already did this. We already did this. Comfort mode is off. I like that this is there, but off. Um, yeah, so this is the vignette. Dominant hand, you can change that up. Uh, smooth locomotion style. Changes the frame of reference. Um, forward versus hand forward. I'm going to do hand forward. I don't know why that wasn't there. Uh, graphics, ultra, ultra, 4x, ultra, love it. I'm not going to change my resolution scaling. That all happens in Steam. Audio, I don't think I need to screw with. So there's all your your options. We can go back to calibrate again, uh, or quit. Hey, this quit button. Got to love the quit buttons. Bash doors and other objects in the environment. How do I do that? That was satisfying. Here comes a walker. Oh, oh. shh. Shove walker shh. In space. Try it now. Did you say? The effort you put in makes a difference. Oh wow. Good. You can also okay, that wasn't shoving, that was punching. Okay, that's that's my drift. Now throw the walker away from you to make space. Okay, so I'm not using grip. Only one way to keep him down for good. And what? Walker and stab it in the head. Why is it not grip? Why is why is grip doing nothing here? I have to use trigger. Oh, I've got a knife that I didn't realize I had. Fighting isn't the only way to survive. Time to learn about scavenging. Ow. If you see any the drift on this controller is getting pretty bad.
How do I? I can only do it with my left hand. Now that you have everything, let's focus on the locked door. Why? Broken by bashing them with any weapon. Why couldn't I pick that up with my right hand? Why can't I put this down? Okay, we learned nothing from Alex. Nice job. Keep moving. Sometimes you can find materials inside containers. Bash the container to open it. Bring back all the food you can find so our community can grow. If I have to. If a container is on the ground, you'll kick it open if you bump into it. Some items are rarer than others and can be used to upgrade weapons. Okay. Go through the next door when you're ready. Let's see what that hammer can do to a walker. Hey, ow. His face is like missing now. I want to turn it around. Why are you behind me? Of course, there are ways to kill walkers without getting too close. You don't say. Try grabbing that pistol. Why? Why? This is my dominant hand. You made me pick my dominant hand. Why can't I grab with my dominant hand? That makes no sense. And for me to grab it with this hand and it goes to this hand? Take a shot at those walkers. I like that it turns green when it's uh, lit up. When you want to reload, eject the magazine and grab a new one from your hip using your offhand. It just it just stuck it in there. Okay, I didn't press that. Down the sights of your gun for more accuracy. Keep shooting the walkers in the rain. Yeah, it just sort of automatically does everything for me. I'm not touching anything to grab that. All the walkers are dead. Mm, that feels too... Like, why is it... I would turn this off and make this be a button. Like, I would want to grip here, put it in, and then grip here to grab. This feels like too... Like, you see my phantom hand? How far away my phantom hand is? And it's still grabbing? That's that's way too strong. Nice shooting. Why don't you try this one out? This lever action shotgun packs a punch. Use both hands to keep it stable. Lever action guns need to be cycled each shot. Quickly flick the gun to cycle. Sure it's falling out of my hand. No and again, like, it's, it's just snapping, too. I don't like that. Let me decide. Nice work. You can carry four weapons at once on your weapon wheel. There we go. If you pick up another weapon, you'll swap it for whatever you're holding. Pick up this machete. Perfect. It's best to keep a balance of firearms and melee weapons at all times. Time for a live test. Okay. I see food. A walker's gonna break through that door. Okay, maybe I should move. You can shove walkers away using your hands or any weapon. Could I just... Well, I don't think that's what I wanted. Shove it with your off hand first. Can I just... You need to shove it with your empty hand. Do I? Why would I want to touch it? 
Really? That makes no sense. I'm trying to. Okay. Shove the walker using your empty hand. Good. Now try it with your weapon. Really? Clear. Head through where the walker. Why? Why did I need to do that? And it's it's not shoving. I'm not shoving anything. I'm just punching it. I'm punching it with my offhand. Call a punch a punch. Now those look really bad. When was the last time you saw a soda can that was the size of a hammer? That was like the size of your forearm. I'm nitpicking. Probably because the reviews have me in that, just like seeing the mostly negative, have me in that sort of mindset already to be like nitpicky. So far it hasn't been horrible. Like, there's nitpicky shit. But not enough to give it any sort of not recommended yet. Yet. No, the grabbing thing is definitely definitely weird though. And and bad. Weird in a bad way. What comes before and after? Damn it. The hell was Daryl thinking coming out here by himself? I don't know. Just remember, protocol dictates that things are gonna heat up real fast out there. No kidding. Can't go that way, okay. Fallback spot. I will await your signal and arrange your rendezvous when mission success has been achieved. Do they actually talk like that? Is that is that a real thing? Okay, no Arizona sunshine opening the uh, car doors. Really? Did you just trip over your buddy? Cannot go that way. Okay. Being blocked at every turn. What other weapons do I have? No other weapons? Okay. Well, I think she was actually dead. Definitely Daryl. Okay. Can't grab that for ammo. I don't trust them. Yeah, it looks like him. We about to die. Cause I feel like we're about to die. Daryl, you better have a damn good reason for running off. Yeah. I mean, no, you can whatever your reason. Wouldn't come with you. It don't mean I can't do it myself. Told you not to go. Yeah. Don't answer to you, Nick. My wrench versus your fucking M16 A4. You even care? That isn't what I'm. Maximum walkers coming this way. I want to hunker down. Drive to the fallback spot, Eugene. We can settle this later. Here, take this. I can't I can't grab it with the hand that I would normally grab with. Fans moving to the east road. Let's go. Yeah, I know the way. Watch it. Shit. I'll be fine. Take the path to your left. I'll see you at the van. Smooth, jackass. What do you mean wait for Daryl? Daryl just fucking told me to go this way. What am I waiting for? Daryl just told me to take the fucking path to the left. What the fuck? Okay, well, I guess we scavenge first. It's the idiotiest, bittiest little binoculars. 
We got like a fucking huge ass. We got a. Uh, the scale on a lot of the stuff is wrong. Like, a lot of the stuff is just bad. Um. We could probably go scavenge all that, but I don't think so. I just want to know. Where am I supposed to be going? Okay, now it will let me go this way. Oh, I just have to point at it. I don't even have to actually touch it. I want to grip. I want this to not auto snap. I want this to grip. That should be an option. These feel very... Weightless. It feels very weightless and... I don't know. It doesn't feel very solid. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Do I lose ammo when I do that? Can't tell. I will try that with not this. I think I'm going to have to RMT this, uh, um, this controller. People looking for me on Discord. Fine. Yes. I'll be fine. Did you get bit, motherfucker? Can we go already? No. Get that engine running. Why can't I go this way? This guy's obsessed with talking. Zombie apocalypse, somebody shows up with a wound. You don't just like walk it off. That leg isn't gonna heal anytime soon. Hope it was worth it. Won't take too long. Feels better than it looks. <laughs> Rick, we got a line on those supplies. You ready to go? Stay here. We'll talk when I get back. That is not a natural position. Okay, so we have. Is our home base? Materials. Zero of 13 scouting party. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey. Now that the war's over, we can finally focus on rebuilding Alexandria. Is the war over? What war? Can you finish those plans then? I have a cowboy hat. We're organizing efforts to scavenge food and materials. With enough food, we can bring in new survivors. With enough materials, we can build out the community and the arsenal. Do you want to go out? I could see re like rebuilding this area. That'd be cool. First thing to do is pick where you want to go. Options are limited for now, but once we recruit more survivors, we'll be able to search farther out. I'm going to have to mute that, I think. Oh, hello. Oh, my ammo is full. So I guess this is where I stock up. Mods, how do I? Okay, how do I actually get to modding anything if I can't? Am I taking damage from it? Really? Did that just kill me? Okay. You can't go this way. Yeah, yes, you can't go this way. Why the fuck can't I go this way? There's no, like, drop off your materials or anything. I want to go play with the flowers. The others are waiting for you. And it just zeroes out my speed. Make sure to lock in your plans before you go. 
I'm a fucking cowboy. Got a holster on my hip and everything. All right, we'll lock in our plans before we go. Once you select a site, check out all the info the scouts gathered on it. Like what materials? Uh, whatever the hell. Bacon times 12 and screws times 12. Make sure to lock in your plans before you go. And then apples times 20, I guess. No active acquisitions, survivor. Potter scavenger trips are risky, but they usually mean there's better stuff to find in the area. You know what? Fuck it. Let's veteran it up. I think I'm ready. You still need to gear up. Head over to the armory while I get things prepped. I was just over there. May not seem like much now, but as you discover weapons, the armory will grow. Take a look at what we've got. Pistol. Laser sight will be nice. Left a pistol and a knife for you in the armory. Make sure to get Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm in the middle of fucking doing that. You don't say. Chrono? With fucking time traveling knife? Leech choke kill. Grants the knife the ability to steal some life back. Chance to heal when killing a choked walker. 15% chance to heal for 15 HP. Wow, okay. Uh, so... Staying in the real world here. Materialist uncommon. Immediately scavenge either abrasives, lubricants, or adhesives off the body. Alright, so if we, uh... If we penetrate a walker, we could get some lube out of it. Got it. 5% chance to gain one of, one of, one of those things. Uh, ch -ch -ch. to gain a chemical or electric. Okay. I had to load up. Like ready. I'm ready. Eugene is waiting. What are my mods? Is it just my mods stuff? Sure. I would like to believe this will go smoothly. Select a character. Alright, we'll play cowboy. Rick Grimes. We're playing Cowboy Boy. Mainly because I don't know who any of them are, so why not? You can use a gun as a melee weapon. That's nice. You can flip your grip on some bladed weapons. I didn't see what the the tooltips or the yeah I guess the tooltips the 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 tips go by too fast. They rotate a little too quickly. Bye. The herd isn't gonna stop. There might still be a couple of places left in town that have supplies. Oh yeah? Way, you won't know till we checked. No shit. Weapons, ammo. Stay focused. Herd's probably close. What? Why can't I go this way? What is the planned route? Why can't I go that way? Do I have to go this way? Hey, make sure to look around. Probably more supplies deeper in. Yeah, I don't know what I'm looking for as far as supplies go. Of course.
Really? That's what this is? Does it? I don't know what this red line is. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't know how to use meds. How do I meds? I guess I didn't pick up meds? Okay, it doesn't look like I lose, I don't think. So, this really is the most effective. The herd might be close. I should keep us safe a little longer. I mean, sticking a knife in someone's face is satisfying. Heard might be right on your heels. Nope. Things have changed, and we need to change with them. All right. So, is that the only? Great effort. Let's see how we did. At least we got some stuff. Lost fifty percent. Got some food. Any food or fuel you scavenge will go to our scouting parties. Once they're prepped, they'll head out to look for a survivor. Okay. New letters received. As Alexandria's population grows, our world will too. New people means new locations to explore as well as new weapons and ways to increase their stopping power. Okay, so what we learned... Uh, oh, Town Hall, okay. Someone left a message for you at the community board. Head over there next. What we learned is uh, pistols are worthless, and the knife is the be-all end-all. Get from the community will go on this board. Take a look now. Sounds like Rajul has plans for a town hall. Maggie sent some materials over from Hilltop. Uh, Rick, my cone, my cone, Michonne, told me uh, about the expansion to Alexandria. The two of you are planning. I've attached some spare goods from Hilltop's Reserve to help on one condition. Uh, this all goes to Alexandria, not the saviors. I hope you can repay the favor one day. Hilltop might need something from you. Maggie, that's probably my crafting starting kit. Materials Maggie sent, we 
have enough to finish that town hall. Go over to the draft or not. table and we can finalize plans. Extra help from an old friend. This is probably my shorting. No, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I've gathered what I can here to help Alexander to get back on its feet. If anyone can bring the community back together, it's you. Good luck, friend Morgan. There's my crafting starting kit. Requisitions, credits. Huh. There you go. Design. This is who you blame. This is this blame. This is who you blame. <laughs> Project leadership. There you go. It all rolls uphill. That's an interesting way of doing credits, though. I like it. Yeah. Sorry, people on page two. Expanding Alexandria will offer you different perks in the field. Try building the town hall. We have all the materials and enough workers to support it. Okay. Maximum health up 20% because we have a town hall. Okay. Ah. Staffing a building with additional workers will improve its efficiency. We can upgrade. Alexandria could start looking like the world we had before. All right, I like this idea. See what I can scavenge out there. I like this idea of this this Dark Souls, not Dark Souls, um, um, Dark Cloud concept of running through the dungeon, going through levels, 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 and then building your town up as well. To swing by when you have a minute. Do I have to? Hey, I just died. What's up? I guess. So we got random missions, then we got story missions. Oh, I'm sitting. Okay. Yeah, dude. Who? The girl. I told you. What girl? Just need another day. I can find her. You Put that leg? Cop car covered in blood. I asked you to tell me what happened and instead you ran off. What's going on with Why are your legs so short? Trust me. No, Daryl. I'm trying to rebuild after a war. I what war? Here now. Oh, fine. You really want to know what happened out there? He I keep asking, yeah. I didn't realize we were gonna run through it all. Okay. Started with the herd, the one that ran me off the road. Shit. Shit. How does a horde run a car off a road? I don't. I mean, maybe that's just my lack of Walking Dead knowledge, but how does that happen? Usually, cars like. Drive over people and through people and turn people into little chunky bits. Next, I heard the walkers. I needed a weapon. Fast. Can you hear me? I believe your vehicle may have been compromised. I believe I can fly. Vehicular transportation. Oh, it's the knife over here, conveniently placed in whatever this is that I would love to grab with my dominant hand Found one just in time. but it I don't know I don't like it I don't like it at all it's my biggest complaint so far oh. Where'd you end up? I was in the middle of a camp. It was destroyed. <laughs> Any survivors? Nah. I was just hoping for meds. I can't grab his body and move him. Driver State Park. Heard of it? Why were you out so far? Supposed to be a shortcut back. Supposed to be. At least that's nice for not bending over, not necessarily for realism's sake, but this sacrifices for convenience sake. Much down the trail. That's 
why I kept them in the tents. I do like the narrative style of him telling the story. I just hope it doesn't get repetitive like earlier where she kept saying the same thing over and over and over. Eventually, I found some meds. It fixed me up. But it wasn't long to rest. HP 105. Had to keep moving. Why didn't you tell me any of this before? Didn't have time. Still don't. It took you two days to get back. You don't think I need to know what's going on? No. Hey there. Just just making sure. This doesn't appear to have durability on it, so uh just gonna stab anything in range. So many cars to count. Cause we couldn't climb over that. Hold on. Go to Winchester was turning into the Winchester. Supplies and evac. There you go. No touchy. No touchy. Definitely not you. When you drove home, wasn't that easy? The gun on the hood helped, though. Right in time, too. My arms were getting tired. Yeah, they weren't that tired. I like the, I like the flies. Really? I can't. Sure. All right. He's a wall. Got it. I guess this is where uh, place was shit out. This is where the pistols come in. What the hell does shit house mean? Seriously. The military had put up some kind of a barricade. Now they were probably trying to keep things under control. If you say so. Yeah, okay. I feel like this is going to be a one-hit wonder of just choke and stab. Especially with the upgrades this thing gets to uh, harvesting materials. Why would I do anything else other than that? Seriously, in what zombie apocalypse would your go-to move be to strangle and stab? Because right there, yeah, he's, he, he ate me. He took a chunk out of my thumb as I went to go stab him. It does not see the safe, secure, or smart thing to do. Yeah. Walkers. Had to get ready before the barricade came. I didn't have to bash that at all, now did I? Only 
choice was to fight. Was the only choice to fight? I feel like there was probably a choice to die. Oh, I guess those guys got free. Come on! I know Kung Fu, let's go. Sorry, Knife Fu. I know Knife Fu. Did I get eat? Did he eat me? This looks creepily realistic here. Don't, don't trip. Just dreams. Got through. Barely. Barely? What do you mean barely? I don't got a scratch on me. What does he mean barely? That was a cakewalk. Fuel is a rare resource to find in scavenger. Da 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 da. Something other too wrong. Need to keep looking before the trail goes cold. Not until you tell me the whole story. The whole story. No index control. No index support. Why? If we leave, things here might fall apart. Again, I know that they can do it because Raw Data had it, so... I'll tell you the rest. But if you I'm pretty sure Raw Data had it. Didn't Raw Data have it? I think Raw Data had it. You might not have to. I might be wrong. Was it Sprint, Sprint Vector had it? I was pretty sure a Servios game had index support. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass, I don't know. But why doesn't this have it, is my point. Okay. We have a new letter, the town hall. Uh, we built the town hall, yes we did. Thanks to you, we've got the town hall up, and now we just need to find some more survivors to help out around here. Speaking of, maybe you could help me with some personal projects in the future. No. I have some ideas about how we can improve the communication systems around here and bring in more survivors who are stuck out there like I was. Cheers, Rajul. Uh, requisitions? That's not a requisition. I do have... Scouting party, 10 of 14. Nothing to upgrade, so nothing to do there. Um, we could go scout. I don't know and I don't care. Already trying to run off again. I'm sure he has his reasons. And at least the scouting efforts are going well. How can I help out? We found some good spots to scavenge. Check cool. Sure. The scavenger missions remind me of... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Chameleon Kid. That was my first thought. Um, an old Genesis game called Chameleon Kid. All right. We can do all of these, which is a Sleech Choke Kill, Materials Uncommon... Materials rare. I can do all of these, I think. Um, Perfect. Good work. No, I can't get the leech choke kill now. Just oh. Alive. All right, so now we have the ultimate fucking knife. And I need more bacon. I'm pretty sure that's wood, but I'm going to call it bacon because bacon. Um... Loadout, so it's already part of my loadout. My loadout, I guess, is permanent. Um, you, upgrades, any upgrades I can do for you, I can. I don't think I want to upgrade the pistol at all. I don't want to spend bacon on the laser pistol. I want to spend water on the laser pistol or the nuts and bolts. Yeah, eh, I don't care. I don't care that much about that. Um... I need two plus. Okay, so we need to alternate between scavenger missions and the other stuff. Was missing her dad earlier. She says hello. Uh, military checkpoint. Okay. I'm gonna go on veteran again. Okay. Now that I know what I'm doing, there should have been some sort of intro or primer into survival missions that told you exactly what was going to happen, where you should go, 
which direction that there was a death wall coming behind you that was pushing you forward and that you had to get to the end somehow with I don't know I am moving quick. We need these supplies. This place isn't on most of the map. Van's gonna come for you soon. Try finding extra supplies. Safety's off. Out here, anything could happen. Is this really not a thing? Okay. some bacon. Bacon. All right. Can you just go away? You're ugly. No, it's not. Shut up. Didn't I come through this way? Why is there so much shit I didn't open? I was just flailing there because I was caught. Yeah, I guess. Sure, why not? Ensure in unsuccessful scavenger missions you still keep half the hull. Hmm. Fight or flight. Sometimes it's better to run. Never. Never. All right, what we get? We got 11 bacons and 9 volts, 14 food, and I guess we found some fuel? I don't know what that was. Available in the army. Heavy pistol. Army? Available in the army now. Armory now. Brooklyn has joined. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, we got a bigger scouting party. Is this... That looks like gas. That's all, that's all I can say is gas. Four minutes on veteran, not bad. Um, do we, we need one more guy there. 
I'm gonna go look at. Does it? You don't say. Okay, I'm gonna add that to loadout. Can I remove this from loadout? That's the one. Okay. Leech choke kill. We get some life back. All right. So now this is the best weapon that we have. All right. So what do you got? You got copper tips. Uh, pierce through the walker to the one behind it. Uh, extended mag. Armor piercing rounds. Uh, deal with those metal heads. Uh, and a laser sight. Okay. I mean, that might be a weapon I decide to upgrade later, but for now, it's it's all about the knife. It's already in my loadout, so... I don't know what grabbing the ammo does other than just give me ammo for inside the mission. I don't think it has any purpose other than a distraction. Hey, how's it, going? Uh, it goes. I'm going to go... Uh, calling crazy. Transceiver found in a toolbox. What the hell does that even mean? Uh, remember that project I mentioned? I was thinking we could upgrade our communication system so we can call it survivors, maybe even the other communities. If you find me an old portable radio, I might be able to salvage a transceiver and improve things around here. Okay, I guess that's what we're doing then. Because uh, that... Oh, that also is the same thing. I, mean, I, looked, I thought I saw radio. Let's... I guess we can do Main Street again because we didn't finish Main Street. Let's finish Main Street. We'll go do another story mission. And then I think we'll... Uh, and then I think after that we will... Go ahead and call it. Um, there's definitely some problems here, but I'm not getting the overwhelming hate. Um, the firearms don't feel... Worth. Maybe I'll try a firearm in the, the next story mission. Maybe it's just because I threw it up to Veteran. Um, that first mission is weird. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm not a Walking Dead fanboy that I'm missing something here. Maybe they just didn't do the IP justice. Try to find whatever supplies you can before the herd catches up. Right, we're going this way. Not much bigger than Woodbury. It shouldn't take too long to clear. Fill a couple of bags. Shouldn't be too long. Maybe that communications part is here. We definitely need it. Might be able to reach more people with this. A little bit of lag there. Getting quite a bit of lag. I'm not a fan of the reloading either. And on the index controllers, it hits. Don't move. I don't like it when you move. Why is my headset losing tracking all of a sudden?
catch the herd, watch yourself. I don't know what happens when that line crosses me, so I'm running. It seems to be performance issues right now. I think I probably missed some stuff over there, but I didn't want to miss. Is it? I think I just got the radio, but I'm not entirely certain. I don't see anything in here worth grabbing. Okay, so I just slowly lose health in this. That is a stupid idea. Why would I just lose health there? I don't see anything in here. There's, is that gas over there? Looks like it's got a hole in it. Nope, can't go anywhere other than in the van. We don't have to leave now. The, the fuck did he say? <clears throat> the windmill will process materials. Okay. Uh, we got one bacon. We need more than one bacon. But we did get plenty of food. Which gives us another scouting party. Hazel! Nice! Our harem is coming along nicely. We unlocked another campaign chapter, and we got another community letter. Alright. The farmer. Saved Hazel. Thank you! I would be dead if your scouts hadn't found me. I was never much of a fighter, and that hurt was huge. Seriously, thank you. That's what she said. Um, Mich Michonne? I don't, I don't know how to say this word. Please correct me in the comments. How do I say this word? Michonne, Macone, Maconi, Michoni told me that you need help growing crops. Uh, I'll try to organize things and we'll check in with you soon. Acquisitions, calling crazy. Materials attached. Find a transceiver for Rajul. Wow, I'm su surprised you managed to find a transceiver in such good condition. Maybe my threshold for good has dropped a bit. Uh, either way, we're already seeing the benefits roll in. Uh, Hilltop Sanctuary and Oceanside might be able to boost their systems too, eventually. Wherever those places are, thank you for your help. Cheers, Rajul. Alright, we got some bacon and some bolts. Uh, remember that project I mentioned? I was thinking we could upgrade our communication system so we can call out survivors, maybe even the other communities. Uh, okay, it's the same thing that I already read. I don't need to read that again. All right, so are we building communications here? I mean, I can upgrade the town hall. I guess we'll do that. Some bacon, some bolts, and uh, I don't know what this is. I guess it's a worker. We're upgrading to add another worker. All right, so our maximum health is up another 20%. All right. 
I can upgrade again for another 20%. Do I need to? Um, I mean, we don't have any other projects. I think I'm going to hold on to that because I haven't really needed the health. Daryl, let's um, talk about you again. Yeah, Daryl can kiss my ass. Like, so, I mean, his legs are way too fucking short. I can't get over that. This is not normal human proportions. Like, his his body is way too long. His legs are way too short and stubby. Like, this isn't a normal human being. And that's not normal posture. Like, if I were to try and sit like that, like... I w it would just be so uncomfortable. He doesn't look natural at all or relaxed at all. And he's putting weight on his broken leg. Like, none of this makes sense. But that's nitpicking. I mean, it's annoying, and I see it every single time I look at him. It's polish, but it's 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 still kind of nitpicking. Um, what is Survivor? Oh! I crank it up to Veteran. Why was I on Survivor? Uh, loadout, pistol, and knife. So we get his loadout, not our loadout. Uh, so I wonder if this knife is not even my upgraded knife. Uh, strange circumstances. Zero approaches town to look for help with supplies. He encounters a mysterious driver. All right, so this will be the last one we do, and then we'll we'll call it quits for the night. That should be about an hour. Kept walking to town. What's the girl have to do with all this? Uh, it's a girl. It's the apocalypse. Put two and two together. New weapons can be found in both scavenger missions and campaign chapters. I wonder how many chapters there are? I did not think to look. I wonder if it says so on uh, or it says on Steam. Chapter two: Strange Circumstances. I finally got off the highway. Followed signs leading to an evac site. What are you I want to go this way. A radio, guns. Why can't I go this way? I want to go this way. I had. You left this wide open. Why can't I go this way? I would really like this controller to stop drifting. And it's not the game's fault. It does that in Township Tale as well, as well as other games. It just... Thought there might be something in one of <clears throat> I RMA'd this controller. I did not RMA this controller. And I think this one is finally giving out. Picture. Was there nothing worth blocking up? I mean, after Alex, the, the lack of physics is disappointing. Like Alex set a bar that not a lot of people are going to be able to uh, to meet. I will have to be before going through um, between finishing this. I'm bashing the lock. Okay. Before um, ending this and doing my outro, I will go look through the Steam reviews, see what other people said, and... Uh... Okay, right. <clears throat> and then line that up with uh, what I experienced. Dude, I can see through you. Die. Oh, they make a lovely couple. And the game's far from perfect. But I am not 
seeing stuff that warrants the hate. I was expecting things a little bit prettier, though. That's kind of blocky. Sup? I don't think that I should be able to fend off the zombie apocalypse with a single knife. Although I do like that stun. Having this be maxed off right off the bat, it should have been a little bit harder to max this out. I don't know if that's just because of the Deluxe Edition, but this is a lot of overpoweredness right here. Especially that, uh, that stun. That stun's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Since everything was dying in just one stab to the head, I didn't think the stun was going to have any value at all. But, uh, I don't know, it's been pretty good. Zombies? High speed car chase? I don't know what that symbol. I got like a little biohazard symbol that showed up for a second. Oh, I got a piece of. I got a rare. I got a rare thing. That's what that was. That was the uh, rare item symbol. Yeah, why wouldn't you use this? It's the best weapon in the game. It's Halo all over again. Why would you use anything other than the pistol? This time the pistol's a knife. I don't know if it's on death or if it's on stab. So I don't know if it makes more sense to like cut their organs out. Or just stab them over and over and over again. I know the chokehold stab is 15% chance to give me some health back. So that seems like it might be better to stab them repeatedly in the stomach to have a better chance of getting that health back. Come on, gentlemen. Uh, there's my health back. Now I know what that icon means.
I'm liking the knife combat. It's not the best in the world. There's room for improvement. But I'm liking it. Everybody's just going to call me a Sergio fanboy. And I let off with that, so... Uh, if you made it this far, I'm already dead. Enjoy my shit. Still working. We got a hammer. Nope. Knife. Why don't we have access to that wrench that I had at the start? Where did that go? All my performance uh, issues are gone now that I'm out of that first uh, horde mission. So I wonder if those were all just uh, based on that. Based on that first mission performance in there. Nope. Okay. We are enjoying his shit, apparently. Oh, hey guys. Thank you for that sound cue. A very subtle sound cue. You're next. Sure. Come on, guys. There's a knife for everybody. Hey, we got tape. And it was on death that time, so I can't tell. Evac sites look more like uh, they evacuated this life for the next. Looked even worse than I expected. Hey, you can't come from where I killed everybody. That's against the rules. Even on veteran, the difficulty level just isn't there. And again, I don't know if that's because I have this OP knife too soon. Or what? But, uh, yeah, difficulty not quite there yet. Getting plenty of ammo that I'm not using. Excuse me. Found a radio. Somehow the thing picked up a signal. Daisy, if you hear this, follow the siren. I'm not Daisy. Please, I'll keep you safe this time. Will you? Had to be coming from the cop car, so I tried to track it. That driver could have been dangerous. Could have been. But she was a chick. Guys do stupid things for boobs. Just making sure, don't mind me. Like, I see no other motivation for this guy other than, Hey, there was a girl. It's been a while. Boop. He hasn't gotten to any part of the story that makes sense. Like, at this point, there's no motivation for him to be doing any of this. Just 
misses a point. Try to head for the road and spot the car. I mean, not a single one has woken up on me so far. So I'm probably just, you know, stabbing things. Oh, hey, look! Difficulty! Okay, that was on death as well. And the blood drinker effect looks like it happened without a neck grab. So I don't think I need to grab the necks. That looks like something I should be able to climb up into and get loot out of. And the loot is kind of meaningless, it feels like. What'd you do? Failed them. Cut through some buildings across the street. Who wants some? You want some? You want some? I felt kind of kung fu movie-ish. I don't, I don't have any help. I mean, I'm not bloody, so I don't think I took any damage. That was kind of fun. Like, I don't know what people were expecting. I mean, this is definitely some graphical issues. Like, that is a huge ass. That that's that's just fucking broken. That's fucking broken. There's no soda that is as big as my knife. There's no tuna can as big as my fist. That's just not how that works. So whoever was in charge of art and asset creation and making sure everything was scaled appropriately to the world. They absolutely fucking failed at their job. And I'm 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 sorry, whoever that was. Uh but this does not look like a high quality game. That has uh, no business being as fun as it is. <laughs> Just getting in a circle and being like a kung fu action star, like, stab, 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 you, 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 you. Somebody hit me. So maybe I was not as action star as I thought it was. The health seems to only be on kill. Alright, no more... No more Jackie Chan. Because I was actually missing a considerable amount of health that I didn't realize I was missing because I can't see my health. That's another complaint. I have the minimal UI. Maybe I need to turn the uh, minimal UI. Here. Let's try a thing. Um, options. Minimal on. I don't think that's going to. Yeah, I don't think that's going to do it.
So they're introducing armored guys. Not bad. And takes the efficacy of the knife down a little bit. Like what? The only law is lead. Figured you probably saw that every day out here. This is a really tall bar. I'm not a short person. Like, <laughs> scale is, is, scale is an issue. Apparently I can't walk between that gap. Found an old rifle, lever action. That have okay. I guess I don't have any armor. I thought I saw shiny, sir. approaching the end here. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, I found love and death. That's sweet. locked people up in shipping containers. By the time you'd be okay with locking people up in shipping containers, you'd just kill them. Because you'd be aware of the zombie thing. Like, that's why I could never get into The Walking Dead. Is my... The first episodes that I saw of The Walking Dead were, like, Grandma's obviously clearly a zombie, but, you know, they don't want to... They don't want to kill Grandma. They're going to chain her up in the barn until she eats people. And then somebody else was like, I, I don't remember really well, like, I, I feel like somebody else was feeding their kid people or something. Or maybe maybe that's Shaun of the Dead. No, no, I don't remember. But it just, like, they were being incredibly stupid about zombie apocalypse is happening. It's clearly zombie apocalypse. What the fuck are you doing? There's, there's, a, there's a point of willful ignorance that you just have to you've gone too far into willful ignorance and all I saw was willful ignorance and that was like in season 2 of The Walking Dead and I was like you know I'm just um, I'm not going to watch this show and so I haven't so that's, that's my story as to why I'm not a Walking Dead fan She was, she was kind of cute for an undead. Dude, really? You know, these, uh, these shamblers remind me of the, uh, the bots from Raw Data, how they just sort of walk and fall. I wonder if they uh, reuse the same AI logic to sort of shamble towards the person. No one asked you. Asshole. You couldn't just let my joke die with your ass. You had to get up. 
I can't I can't grab him. So I guess the uh Uh, I guess the armored head, metal head guys, um, they can't be grabbed or choked. That would be a good thing to teach you in the tutorial. It was a loading bay that led. That looks like a death trap. Release lever for its lift was missing. Had to find it. This is a much better story mission than the first. Much longer. Not going up there. Why not going up there? Just because they've blocked me off from everything else, so why not? The release lever looked rough. Hope that it still works. Finally, there's something in one of these. Oh, hey, guys. Bye, guys. There we go. Give me a leg. He didn't give me his legs. So I think that the minimal UI does not give me more of a, uh, or doesn't, doesn't do what I was hoping it would do. I was thinking maybe it was like backwards in how it should be interpreted and it would show me my health if I had it toggled, but no. Looks like it's just not giving me the feedback from when I kill things or get health or lose health or whatever. Do I have to run? I don't think I have to run. <laughs> Look at all those materials I'm getting. Why would I want to run? Why would I run from that? Good music, though. Really?
Whew. This feels like boss battle room. Didn't have to be here. Search for the cop car, but we're blocked by freaking mall carts. Mm. That was. My friends? What friends? Just like that. You followed her? Still wasn't sure who Daisy was and what the driver meant. But I needed a ride. He needed a ride. Rick's signature revolver is one of the most powerful pistols that can be found. That's great. You should have kept looking for a different way back. Already said no options. What does that matter? You could have gotten killed. Yeah, doofus. I can take care of myself. Does this place need him? After the war with the saviors, you have to change too. Yeah, get your shit together, man. Do we really need him if he's such a fuck up? Whew! Look at all those. Look at all those just from stabbing things. That's beautiful. Knife OP. The knife is OP. Telling you guys right now, the knife is OP. Scavenger region unlocked, Brownfield. Got a new community letter. We got a rifle and a hammer. We got more peoples. We got more workers. And that was a 30 minute playthrough on veterans. So yeah, oh, the stockpile and the clinic. We unlock things. That's cool. Uh, so yeah, I think that we're gonna wrap this up here because that definitely probably puts us over, um, definitely, probably. Yeah, no, I think that definitely puts us over an hour. Uh, so I'm going to wrap this. I'm going to go check the, no, shut up. Yeah, he's a pedophile. Good luck. Let me know if I can help. Nope. Boop. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go check the Steam uh, reviews and see why everybody is saying this game is so god awful. There's definitely issues. There's definitely, definitely issues. The why can I only grab shit with my left hand? That's retarded. The scale on everything is stupid. Um, the knife being so damn overpowered so early in the game, potentially just due to the fact that I got the deluxe edition and not just the standard edition and I got an influx of crafting materials and I probably shouldn't have been able to craft that upgrade yet. So, I mean, that one's a little bit more uh, iffy. Uh, the lack of UI, uh, there's there's a number of things that are definite, definite call-outs as why weren't these caught sooner? Why wasn't a level of polish put on this? Uh, the lack of explanation on certain things like the red wall of death that just sort of follows you. Um, it's easy to put two and two together, but why wasn't that some information that was told to us? Anyways, I'm, I'm going on my outro rant way too soon. This is not where I should be doing this. I need to go collect my thoughts, and then I'll come back with the outro for you guys. So let's turn to that now. Okay, so I'm just going to sort of freestyle this one uh, i did not write up a script i took some notes uh just jotted down my my brief summary while it was still fresh in my head of the issues that i saw with the game uh i'm going to preface this again with i am a bit of a servios fanboy so take that with what you will i like the the games that they make uh i like how they do things um but I do have critiques. I do have a number of critiques. There's there's definitely a lot of issues here. So the scale of objects, such as Daryl, and that super unnatural pose that was just so, so bad. The giant soda cans and food cans that just, they're immersion breaking. They, they don't make the world believable when you're looking at a tuna can that is this big around, and then you your knife is this big around compared to the tuna can. Like it just, it doesn't make sense. And it's, it just takes you out of the game, especially after Alex, especially after Alex, the world got a taste of high quality visuals, high quality physics, uh, a highly detailed world in a story narrative experience. And that's kind of the bar. Now that's kind of what 
good games need to be now. Um, so the scale of objects, Daryl, the tuna cans, the soda cans, the food cans, like all of those things out in the world just is poorly designed. And I hate to say that. I hate to give that criticism uh, that, that strongly to a Serbios game, but I mean, it's it's just right there. We we all saw it. Um, the hands snapping to the grip points is way, way too strong. Why is the grip not used on the index? Why is there no auto snaps versus grip toggle in the settings? Why can't I go in there and, and say, don't auto snap to anything? Because I don't want it to auto snap to anything. I want to, when I'm, when I'm shooting, I want to actually grip. I want to grip. I want to feel that. Even if it's a snap and toggle, I want to be in control of that interaction. When from this far away, you're auto snapping my hand over here while my hand is still here. That's a disconnect. It's another immersion breaking disconnect. And that's why these two are at the top because they're immersion breaking disconnects from the game. I don't need my hand to snap like that. I really don't. Let me grip on my own. Give me, give, put it in option. Some people will be okay with it. I'm not. I want a different option. Give me options. More options, more better. I love options. I, 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 because I know that my opinion is my opinion and it's not your opinion. Maybe we're going to have, there are going to be two people that are going to have a difference on how this should be defaulted. You're not going to make everybody happy if you just pick one. So give them both and let them decide. That's my philosophy on that. Those two are at the top for a reason, because those two, I think, are the strongest things and the number one contenders for fixing. The grip, probably a much easier fix than going back and retooling all the scaling on all the objects. But I would highly suggest that be done. Hand snapping makes reloading feel worse than it should. Reloading just didn't feel good at all, but when you add that hand snapping to it, it just did not, I, I didn't like it at all. It felt like too much was being done for me and it was clunky. I didn't like, especially the like Phantom Magazine sticking out of the bottom, uh, the, the bottom, the bottom. No, uh, the, the Phantom Magazine sticking out of the bottom. I hated that. I hated it. It was just in the way. It didn't serve any purpose. Like, I don't know where I need to stick the magazine that just fell out of the weapon. No, no. It just, it didn't feel good. And then when you throw the, the snap grip on, it just made it even worse. So I, I grab a thing, I put the thing in, and then my, while my hand is here, my game hand snaps all the way up here. That doesn't feel good. It takes control away from me. It breaks immersion. That's why that's number three. Again, there's a theme here on the things that I'm critiquing at the top of this. The things that are breaking immersion in this game that is supposed to be an immersive story where you're supposed to be playing a role of somebody and all of these things are just taking you out of that role, reminding you you're playing a game and showing you that this world isn't, it's, it's interrupting your suspension of disbelief. And I don't like it. I don't like it. And obviously a lot of other people don't like it either. Uh, the difficulty is laughably easy, even on veteran. I didn't know what I was doing in that first survival run, and I got dead. I didn't know what I was doing yet. Once I figured shit out, like, nothing could touch me. There was there was nothing that could touch me. It's, and that's just with the knife, like, not even using any firearms. That's, that's, that's up next. That's one of the next bullet points, though. If the game was ridiculously easy on the hardest difficulty. That needs to be ramped up, and it needs to be a challenge. And not like Bullet Sponge Challenge, Make them make them faster. Make them harder to grab. I, I I don't make them break out of grabs. Give them some different AI that makes them more of a threat rather than just oh you're gonna take half damage so you're a bigger bullet sponge, or he's gonna stab you five times with a knife instead of three times. That doesn't really do it for difficulty here. These things are so stupid that even when it was like fifty on one. I was able to take them all out with just a knife and take little to no damage. It, it the, the difficulty is not where it's supposed to be and it's not ramping up how it should ramp up. It's not giving me better, stronger, faster, 
more intelligent zombies, which I think is an oxymoron. Um, it's just making them more spongy. And that's not difficulty. That's just increasing time to kill. I don't have to do anything different than what I did before. So I don't really see that as changing the difficulty. Visually, it's it's kind of so-so. I mean, it's not bad. There's definitely some things that were bad. Like, the, this kind of goes back into the scale of objects. But some of the cars just didn't look great. They looked very blocky. They looked uh, amateur. They looked amateurish. They didn't look... I mean, I was... Uh, Arizona Sunshine came out how many years ago? Like, two, three years ago? I would say Arizona Sunshine is a better looking game than this. That's that's kind of sad, especially from someone that I think is a, a decently sized studio, Servios. Come on, guys. What are you doing? I, this is not your best work. Uh, the gunplay felt weak and weightless is my next bullet point. I didn't like the gunplay at all. It didn't do enough damage. I know I was playing on Veteran. But an entire magazine to kill one walker is a little crazy, especially when that magazine is going into headshots. Not a fan. The pistols were, the weapons were worthless. Didn't like them. Uh, not only just the damage, but also the way they felt, especially the two-handed weapons, felt very, very flimsy. They didn't feel like they had any weight to them. They didn't have any stability. Uh, they just, they, I, I can't put it into words better than it just didn't feel right. I mean, did did we get Thor on this? Did we get some some QA? Is Thor still with you guys? Um, we needed better QA on this. This probably should have gotten out to influencers a lot sooner to get feedback. There probably should have been like alpha and beta tests under NDA through influencers, people who know your games, whether that's me or not, I don't care, but somebody should have had eyes on this game before today. It just, it should have happened. Like, you should have had an outside opinion, you should have done some hallway usability testing on this, and it feels like there wasn't at all. Uh, the knife trumped everything, even before upgrades. The guns were so weak that the knife was the best weapon in the game start to finish. The entire, what, hour and a half I played? Knife was the single best weapon with no other options at all. Their, their other options did less damage per hit, and they're, they have ammo. So they've got a limited number of uses. Whereas the knife has infinite uses, there's no stamina, there's no durability, there's no reason that for that knife to break or not use that knife. So there's no downside to using the knife other than you let the zombies get in close. Well, you've also implemented a mechanic where I can just grab them or push them so there's no danger in letting them get close as long as I'm keeping track of where they are. As long as I don't let one get behind me, then I'm fine. But even when I was in the middle of them, I just like Jackie Chan action scene, kung fu, knife them in the face. And especially once the upgrade for the knife was in place with a three second stun, I was invincible. Like that, that ties back into the, the game being too easy. The lack of index support, this is kind of minor, but why don't I have finger tracking? I mean, I'm pretty sure you had it in other games. I'm pretty sure Sprint Vector had it. I didn't go back and check, but I want to say there was there was finger tracking in your other games. Because I think I remember flipping people off in Sprint Vector. So why, why did we not have finger tracking here for index? Why couldn't we use grip for the index? Uh, so, so... That should also be a toggle in, in the controls, whether you use grip or trigger. Because I kept, like, my instinct was to use grip. When I first, in the tutorial, I, I reached and I gripped, because that's the natural interaction, is to use grip. It wouldn't make sense on a Vive Wand. You're right, it wouldn't make sense there. Trigger makes sense there. Because grips are not as readily available. But the whole purpose of the index is that you can grip like that. So... I mean, that should be configurable. That's And that's something that you, sh I, I think can be patched and should be patched. Uh, the key pieces of info were missing from the tutorial, such as the Red Wall of Death, or sorry, the Horde, which is really just a fog that, that deals dot damage. That, why isn't there an actual Horde shambling towards me? I mean, that, it, it just, it doesn't work. 
why is that why is that death wall there to begin with that doesn't make for exciting gameplay it doesn't make for good gameplay why didn't we go more the route of and i hate i hate to throw this game in there why didn't we go more the route of saints and sinners where you didn't have a death wall chasing you you just had a set time before enemies started increasing like i know you, you probably didn't want to copy paste but this implementation is the lesser of the two I mean, you could have just gradually increased spawns, you know, not necessarily give you a hard, you've got, you know, 60 minutes before, you know, never ending waves of death come at you and you're going to die, but just gradually increase the spawn rate of walkers where, you know, it's not to a point. I mean, there, there, I'm, I digress. Like I'm getting off track. Like there are other options, other ways that could have handled this rather than just a very linear path with a kid chameleon death wall flying in behind me it feels very it feels very lazy especially when there's no zombies in it or sorry no walkers in it it's just a red mist of death i it's 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 just lazy and speaking of walls why are there so many damn invisible walls why do you tease me with this big open space that looks like I can go explore, but then you're like, nope, nope, sorry, nope, slow down. You got to turn around. Somebody's waiting for you back that way. Why even give me that option? I mean, I, it, it doesn't make sense to have like everything like, oh, God, it's blocked off. You just walked this way, but now it's blocked. But there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way than to tease me with this open space. Why didn't we have an open space? Why didn't we have more open worlds? It would, the game would have been better for it if we did. I don't know. I, I just I don't see why so many uh, invisible walls. And uh, I did say that I was going to go look through the uh, Steam reviews, which you can see to this side over here. Um, I did look through those. I skimmed through the top ones. Um, they pretty much agree with everything I was saying throughout the entire video, only they're much more angry about it. And a lot of them sound like they are fanboying. A lot of them were, a lot of complaints were on the voice acting, not sounding like the actual actors. Uh, Daryl's voice acting being he was the actual voice actor, or the actor for, the voice actor for Daryl was actually Daryl. Um, he, he, somebody said he sounded bored. Like it didn't sound like him, I guess. I'm not a fan of The Walking Dead, so I can't really comment on that. I'm just relaying what other people said. A lot of complaints were definitely uh, about just the general, like, Walking Deadedness of the show, uh, how much it uh, reflected the show. Uh, somebody commented on, uh, I guess, uh, for Walkers, one shot straight to the center of the forehead kills them in the show. Why don't we have that here? Um, things like that. Things of that nature. Um and a lot of people that just didn't really give any reasons. They just, it fucking sucks. I didn't get past the tutorial. Yeah, no, I can see if you gave up on that first survival mission, that first survival mission should not have been where we started off. That shouldn't have been where we started off. We should have started off uh, with, with the actual missions, uh, not the survival missions. They should have come secondary and supplemental to what we were actually going through. Um yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up everything that I mentioned while I was playing. I'm sure I probably missed some things, uh, you know, trying to wrap up, a, you know, an hour and a half into, uh, well, usually these are a lot longer than I want them to be. Um, it's not an easy feat. I'm sure I missed something. Uh, what do you guys think? Like, from just from what you saw, from, from both Walking Dead fanboys and non- Walking Dead fanboys, and I'm not I'm not necessarily using fanboy as a negative term here, so please don't take offense, um, at least not in this context. Uh, earlier, maybe that's it's debatable. Um, what did you guys think? Did you does this look like a fun game? Does it not look like a fun game? For me, once I got past all of the immersion breaking shit, when I could let myself get engrossed into the game and the story part, the missions, I, I did have fun. It wasn't. It wasn't the best that it could have been, but it is not the mostly negative. It's 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 middle of the road. At best, at worst, it's middle of the road. Um, I would not say it's good, 
but I wouldn't say it's garbage either. I wouldn't use have the vehement just negativity that is swirling around Steam right now. Uh, but again, I do like Servios a lot. I like their games. So take that as you will. Take that with a grain of salt. That is just my opinion. Please let me know yours in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this useful. Later, guys.